What's up? My name is Zombie, and welcome Five Nights at Warriors Deluxe. Now this, from what I understand, sorry, I, don't know, I want to keep my watermelon because I got a watermelon with me. From this is, from what I understand, is a remake, full remake, like from the ground up remake of Five Nights at Warriors War. If you didn't know, Five Nights at Warriors is one of the most known uh, fan games for FNAF, obviously. Um, and what I mean by obviously it's a FNAF fan, it, I mean obviously by it's a FNAF fan game because Five Nights at. Um, I don't, I'll do all of the games, but I don't know how long the games are, so. Now, I've never played the original Five Nights at Wario's, but I've seen Markiplier play it, so. I seem to check if I'm still recording. Yeah, I am. Okay. Oh, I remember. Also, I, I wanted to say, I checked to see if I could make the game full screen. It's not full screen, um, which is fine. I'm completely fine with that. So, just don't mind the black on the screen. Oh, right. Mario and Waluigi worked at this factory. For, that's like the game's story, I guess. And people, it, so, yeah. Seven years later, the government decided to reopen the factory and start production again. That doesn't seem like a good idea, but okay. Iron Man has gotten a job as a guard up during the night. Again, doesn't seem like the best idea, but okay. First night, Warriors. Also, I I want to say this right now. Don't Hello? expect this game to Mr. look McRoy, great. Mr. is it? This was the I'll call game you Richard, from what I understand. Okay. I'd like to welcome you to uh, Warriors Fast Food Factory, Richard. Oh, I'm um, James. These games are always, from what I understand, these games are always uh. Know, really. I, uh I like Game to code play video over games as a hobby. Graphics. Although I'm unsure if I'm really good at coding video games, I at least I love doing it, you know? Yeah. And I've always wanted to be part of something big. Something that affects people, you know? Oh. I hope I can oh, put wait. my video game coding to good use one day. But I was fortunate to be one of the minds behind the reopening of this factory here. That's something I'm very happy about. But anyway, <laughs> enough about me. Welcome! To Wario's Fast Food Factory, a place with a dark past and a bright future, as we like to say. It's back in business, much thanks to your father, in fact, who invested so much and really kickstarted this entire reopening. The lights make oh. The shit. original owner, Wario, he hence the name Wario, of course. He 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 died uh, seven years ago, you see, back in 2007. Tragic stuff. Okay. This factory closed off then, following that tragic event, as you may know, but. Now it's back in business. So this takes it grew popular due to a gotcha. unique secret recipe for fast food that Wario used, so <laughs> you bet we're using the very same one. Now you've been hired as a night guard in the factory. Yeah. The job is quite simple. Be glad you're not here during the day shift, I tell you, where all the machines have to be operated and all that stuff. All you really have to do is to keep an eye on things. It sounds vague, I know, but it, it's not that much more to it. Really. You're currently sitting in the main office of the factory, and seeing as the place has been used for many years, we cannot know for sure just how functional the old machinery is yet. As everything remained intact, it's hard to say. That's why you need to remain in your office and watch over the factory using some brand new security cameras we've installed. Okay, yeah. Straight from Secure Incorporated. Just open up the pad you've been given and have a look around. Yeah, I've been Just doing make sure that. everything you looks okay, pretty much. Games work, so you only have so much power I at your disposal at night, however. Try not to yeah. use all of it. Having that camera pad open drains some of that power, but I assume even worse the number is, my power? is the door to your left and the control room window to your right. Yep. As you have probably seen, we have installed some buttons you can use for each one of them. Yeah. The red buttons will bring down strong metallic doors, and they the white buttons will trigger lights in their respective they doorways. Did that. Keeping these ah, doors bottom, down bottom drain bottom. quite a lot of power, second, Roma, right? as do having the door lights active. Please, Floor's only the use anyway, these so. when you need to. When would you need to, you might wonder. 
Well, there have been rumors going around for years that this recipe that Wario was using that, and that we are using now was quite interesting to money-hungry thieves back in the day when the factory was up and running. So the doors, the lights, it's just for safety, really. Mandatory precautions, that's all. No worries. Just keep an eye on the camera. So, um, uh... Otherwise, you should be good. I think, yeah. We are very excited we'll for this new era of the Warriors, Warriors brand. Well. So, have a good night, Everything Richard says Warriors and on it. I'll give right you a call tomorrow. Oh, monitor there. So, um, uh... What's with the house-looking areas? Cause, like, what's with this? This is a house. That looks like a house. Isn't this supposed to be a factory? Hey there, dude. Oh, lights can stay on while- okay. Okay, um... That's not good. Could be there, could be there. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Ah, shit. Okay, so I should probably keep in mind that... And they can be on a camera, but sometimes they won't, just won't be in view. Like that. Hey there, bud. Why? Am I right? Shit, 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 shit. I don't like this. Where the hell did Waluigi go? Oh, hey, Wario! Happy Waluigi? I don't fucking know. This is already creepier than a regular. <laughs> ah! Fucking hell! Creepier. I don't know, like, FNAF is already creepy enough, right? Or at least some of the games are. Oh, hey, Wario. But, like, once you give it that pretense of, like, oh, it's twisted Mario characters, it's that same thing with Treasure Island, where seeing, like, twisted versions of characters you already know and love, I don't know, it just makes things already even creepier than they already were. And the fact that this place was run by Wario, one of the greediest mo characters in Mario history, doesn't make things any better. Did we have better cameras than this in 2014? I don't know. Like, I remember... I don't know, because I never had a camera system in 2014. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. just gonna stay there? Is that just like something I have to deal with now? Nope, he's not gonna stay there. Okay. Great. Good. Great. Things are already looking terribly. I have a feeling, right? And I don't know how... How... I don't know, like, I have that feeling that this is gonna give me the Night 6 and 420 rage again. And I don't want that rage again, but also I have to deal with FNAF 2 as soon as I... When I can get it, so... Or when I feel ready to do it. Well, so some people might be, uh... Wondering what happened to older series, like, uh, uh, the Tubby Arc, the 
tell Tubby Land via Tubby Archives. I can answer, uh, for that series specifically, I can't get past Night 4. I just can't. Like, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried, but I, like, I legitimately just cannot. Things are looking up for your boy. My watermelon's tasty, so that's a thing. Right, that's a good thing. I'm not used to being able to have the lights on and like both of them on at the same time. Like I'm not used to having both being able to have both lights on or like having them on while I have the camera up. So like it's a whole new thing, right? It feels different, but I know it's the same. Where the hell? Why did I hear stuff to my left? How is my boy Waluigi? Not there. I'm running low on the power. I am certainly screwed. I'm running low on the power. And I'm so screwed. Ba -ba -da -ba. Holy shit. Oh, I thought you were gonna... Oh, there it is. Uh, I wonder who's next for the twisted... Uh, twistification of... I know that one of them... One of the pe one of the ones Hi that gets twisted James is again. Lu uh, Luigi. I heard you did good last night. Well done, Richard. Remember, if you see anyone snooping around at night, you tell us about it, yeah? Yeah. We don't want another uncomfortable incident, like... Anyway, I, I heard from a co-worker today that you had questions about this place and its past. Well, the original owner, Wario, you know, businessman, he was kind. You know, he wasn't free of greed and stress, but honestly, who are, really? He was clever, and he had that boss-type personality, you know? It was him and his business partner, Waluigi, who started this factory and the Wario's brand as a whole. I don't know much about this Waluigi guy, aside from him being known as the sidekick, kind of, or as the less interesting one. Oh, but Waluigi is said to have been good with words. Charming, convincing, clever, but also insecure. Living in his friend's shadow, putting Wario in front of himself. You know, a people pleaser. That's how people described him. But also a people knower, apparently. He knew how to convince people, getting them to agree with him. That's probably why Wario chose him to be his business partner. The two of them made a good team, apparently. They started a cafe. That was the first thing, back in the 80s, you see, in the late 80s. Wario's cafe, it was their first business. And that's also where this secret recipe of his found its footing and grew popular. They closed it off fairly quickly for unknown reasons, actually. And the two men began in the video game industry instead a few years later, in 1990, I think it was. WarioWare Incorporated. You might have heard of it. It was quite a spectacle. <laughs> oh, and the that's ideas a good reference. And products from there were impressive, to say the least. However, people called the place haunted. Ah. Rumors has it that even Wario himself claimed the building felt off. <laughs> and WarioWare actually partly burned down a few years later, unfortunately. It must have been an electrical fire, I guess. But that's when they were able to found their third establishment, which was this very fast food factory. Oh, of course. I think it was a lifelong dream of Wario to build this factory, and finally it was up. So what's and things were going well until, bathroom. you know, I told you, I the owner that. died. But that's not quite the entire entrance story. Oh. He, Waluigi, along with three of their co-workers, completely disappeared one day. Gone. Nobody found them. Heard from them. Nothing. People had claimed to get strange vibes from the factory since day one, and the disappearance of these five didn't exactly lighten those rumors up. 
some have even used the word cursed when describing this place. Yeah, I saw that in the So intro. what happened to them exactly? We we don't know for sure. Great, so you but decide I've to open up a factory without knowing what Richard, happened to Wario. I just thought I would let you in more on the details of the past of your workplace, you know? I'll, I'll let you get back to work, and I'll talk to you tomorrow night, yeah? Yeah. So if you didn't understand the reference there, uh, WarioWare is actually a video game series based around Wario, obviously. It's like, I guess, I could say it's like, if Mario Party had a cousin, and that cousin was like this weird offshoot where instead of a board game, it's just a bunch of small mini games, not like big mini games, just like, not like long mini games, just short ones thrown at you where you gotta do something in five seconds, essentially. And that time frame gets like. Okay, wait, why did I see something there? Anyways, the time frame gets shorter and shorter. So that's a funny little reference. And also, I think, uh. I think that. In the 80s, uh, I think Mario Land 2, if you didn't know, there's, uh, there was Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Uh, Mario Land 2 came out in that, in the late 80s, and in the, in the early 90s, I think, uh, Mario, Mario Land 3, Wario Land came out, so that, that does check up, but no, I'm not sure. I just, rust, rough estimates from memories? I don't know, I'm a big, huge retro gamer. I'm like that in-between guy where you like rough show games, but also like you can do some more modern games too. Like you keep up. This doesn't seem good. Where the hell? There the hell. Where the hell? There the hell. Where is the shit? Oh, was that a Luigi? Also, I think. Luigi didn't know he would be coming this early. It scared me half to death because I didn't think he would look that creepy. Ah! Wait. Oh, okay, not cool. I just don't like that image of Luigi. What looks like to be hanging? Oh, it's just a stage character than I thought it would be. Oh, wait. Oh, fucking close the goddamn door. While well, Luigi's gone, that's a great thing to me to see. Uh, not that I hate the guy personally, I like to think Wall well, Luigi is so funny, but. Like, this game. I don't think I really want to be interacting with them that much. I all I don't have so pop that. Oh, that's a nice face you got there, Wario. You love the cracks. Uh, I don't have much power left. Why do I see? Why do I hear? Why do I see? Why do I not? Why do I not see and why do I not hear? I, I'm back. Words not coming out right. Why do I not see but hear? Da da da. I hate this game so much more than I would thought I would. Ba ba ba. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Well, while we just there. Where the hell did Luigi go? There's Luigi. While you're still be there, yeah, that would be a yes. Oh, I hate that image. Oh, well, Luigi's there, not looking too great. Would Wario still be there? I assume yes. But no. Ah, fuck you. Where would... Okay, Luigi. Still there. I don't know what they're called. I don't know, like, I don't know if there's, like, a... Like, I don't know if, like, they're, like, called, like, the Twisteds, or, like, like, if they're, like weird or something like that. I don't know. Yep, those are the whimpers of Luigi.
again, this is one of those fan games where I definitely knew it was like one of the more more popular ones. Like people knew about it. it was held as one of the greats in the fan game uh, scene. But like I didn't know much about it other than Markiplier played it. I watched the first episode of that, and that's about it. That's about all I know. And that's it. Yep. I didn't know it would be this creepy, though. God damn. Okay. <gasps> Holy shit! I almost ran out of power. Oh, I gotta be more careful about that. My, how long have I been going for? Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave this one here. This has definitely been done a good job of impressing me. This is definitely one I'll be coming back to, but holy shit, I did not think it would be this good. Like, I knew people were hyped for this to come out, like, I knew people, like, I knew it was, like, a thing people were hyped for, like, I definitely remember hearing my friends be excited for it, but, like, I didn't know. Again, because, like, I haven't, oh, holy shit, that was a creepy image of Luigi there, but, um, I don't know, like, why, because, like, I never got into the Wario, the, fi the, I guess people call it FNAF, um, I've never been, or FNAF, I don't know, I've never been into the, at the, the, Five Nights at Wario's, I've never known what they're really about, like, I knew, I knew, I definitely knew they were, like, people loved them, but, like, I had no idea for why. But now I definitely know why. I'm definitely coming back to this, and, uh, yeah. I hope y'all have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in whatever project I end up making next. But until then, see ya.